Hello everyone. My name is Dai Chi, and I will give you the lecture, regarding the radiation and remediation activities. So, let's start today's lecture. Today's theme is, Evacuation Orders After the Accident of the Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Plant, Volume 1. Are you ready? Mr. Daichi, today we have the lecture, using online meeting system. What are you going to talk about today? Okay, in another lecture, I talked about the environmental contamination, which occurred in the aftermath of the accident of nuclear power plant in 2011. Evacuation was one of the measures taken, in the emergency situation at the time. First of all, let us take a look at the evacuation areas, and see the history, how they were designated and lifted to this date. Okay, let's see together the chronology of the evacuation areas, based on the information provided in the website of the Fukushima Prefecture. The first evacuation order was declared, in March 11, 2011, the exact date when the earthquake occurred. After the declaration of the nuclear emergency situation for the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, the national government declared the evacuation order within 3 km radius from nuclear power plant, as well as the shelter in or order from 3 km to 10 km radius. On the next day, March 12th, the nuclear emergency situation was also declared for the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant, and the national government declared the evacuation order within 10 km radius from the nuclear power plant. In addition, the evacuation order with respect to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant was expanded to 20 km radius from the nuclear power plant. And three days later, on March 15th, the shelter in or order was declared between 20 km and 30 km radius from the nuclear power plant. In April, with regard to the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant, given the low possibility of reoccurrence of severe incident, the evacuation area was reduced from 10 km radius to 8 km radius. In the wake of this decision, the evacuation area became 20 km radius from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. In addition, it became apparent that there were areas even more than 20 km away from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, where higher exposed dose to population was estimated. Therefore, from the next day, April 22, the area where it could be possible that the cumulative exposed dose was estimated as more than 20 mSv per year, within one year after the accident, was designated as the deliberate evacuation areas. Moreover, based on the previous shelter and or areas, the evacuation preparation areas in case of emergency were designated, an evacuation of expectant mother, or voluntary evacuation of other residents were recommended. Mr. Daichi, why was 20 mSv per year, or set up as value for establishing the deliberate evacuation areas? That is a very good point. I would like to explain it, in another lecture. And on the same date, 20 km radius within the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, including sea area, was designated as the restricted area based on the Basic Act on Disaster Countermeasure where controlled access or exclusion order can be applied to. And now you can see the integrated map, as of April 22nd, like this. Moreover, it became apparent, that other than the existing evacuation areas, and the deliberate evacuation areas, there were points, where a cumulative exposure dose within one year after the accident, could exceed 20 mSv per year. Therefore, after that, the national government set up the specific spots recommended for evacuation, point-by-point -point basis, and supported for the people in the spots to evacuate. Mr. Daichi, the evacuation areas were expanded in wide area, compared with shortly after the accident. Correct. This is the term, when the evacuation areas became largest, which included 12 municipalities, other than the specific spots recommended for evacuations. After that, on September 30th, the designation of the evacuation preparation areas in case of emergency was lifted, 
because it was regarded that safety of nuclear facilities was secured. At the end of the year 2011, the national government evaluated that the nuclear reactors of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant had become stable, and the safety of the nuclear power plant was secured, as a whole. The national government published the policy that the designation of the restricted area will be lifted, and the evacuation areas would be redesigned as new three evacuation areas, based on the annual accumulation dose. That is, the difficult to return zone, the habitation restricted areas, and the preparation areas for lift of evacuation order. On April 1, 2012, the part of the Kochi village was redesignated as the habitation restricted area and the preparation for lift of evacuation order. And part of the Tamura city was redesignated as the preparation areas for lift of evacuation order, and on April 16th, part of the Minamisoma city was redesignated as all three kinds of areas. After that, the reconstruction and redesignation of evacuation order continued. On July 17th, the Iitat village, which was designated as deliberate evacuation areas, was reorganized into three evacuation areas. On August 10, the Nerahat town, which was designated as part of the restricted areas, was redesignated as the preparation areas for lift of evacuation order. On December 10 of the same year, the Akuma town, which was also part of the restricted area, was recategorized into three evacuation areas. The designation as the specific spots recommended for evacuation was lifted in December 2012, in the Date City and the Kochi village. And on March 22nd in 2013, the Katsureo village, which was designated as part of the restricted areas and the deliberate evacuation areas, was recategorized into three evacuation areas. Three days later, on March 25th, the Tomiaka town was also recategorized into three evacuation areas. On April 1, 2013, the Naimi town was also recategorized into three evacuation areas. On May 28, most of the Futaba town was recategorized as the difficult to return zones, and the rest of the town was designated as the preparation areas for lift of evacuation order. On August 8, the Koamata town was recategorized into the habitation restricted areas and the preparation areas for lift of evacuation order. And reorganization process was completed and all the restricted areas and the deliberate evacuation areas were recategorized into new three evacuation areas. Okay, I understand that evacuation areas are redesigned into three new areas, but what is the specific difference between these areas? OK transition of the evacuation orders over time was explained, from shortly after the accident to the recategorization. Today I'd like to finish my lecture, and next time explain these concepts, and the subsequent lift of the orders. So, let me wrap up my lecture by providing you the key points. Evacuation orders after the accident of nuclear power plant were declared shortly after the accident and they were subsequently expanded to at maximum 12 municipalities, according to the situation of the damaged nuclear power plant and exposed dose to people. Specifically, they were the restricted areas, the deliberate evacuation areas, the preparation areas in case of emergency, the specific spots recommended for evacuation. After that, part of the specific spots recommended for evacuation were lifted and the rest of three evacuation areas were recategorized, based on the detailed estimation of exposure dose. Specifically, they were the difficult to return zones, the habitation restricted areas, and the preparation areas for lift of evacuation orders. Okay, today's lecture is now dismissed. See you next time. In this channel, the useful information, regarding the radiation and remediation, will be provided to you. If you like it, please subscribe to this channel, and do not forget to click the like button.